Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward. Today, apparently someone started the AB room stuff and we need to go. That is a giant, that is a bigger room than I would have expected that Golden Bay to be. Maybe it took into consideration like the hallway, right? Because th wasn't there three doors? No, there was two doors. One was the elevator. The other one was like locked, right? Or am I thinking of when we were investigating? I might be thinking of when we were investigating. I kind of want to play Pac-Man now for some reason. Warehouse A. It's where we keep all the A's. We pushed through the magenta door and ran into the warehouse. There stood Phi, Dio, and K. Hey! What the hell, guys? Why did you open the AB gate before everyone got back? I apologize. We only turned away for a moment. Dio opened it. Oh, it's a dickhead. All right. <laughs> You got a problem with that? Yeah, stab him! Of course we do! Why? I don't remember us all promising we wouldn't open the thing until everyone showed up. This isn't about a promise! Are you stupid or just an asshole? Probably a little bit of both, actually. Probably both. Yeah, exactly. High five, Alice! We were able to get back here in time. But what about the others? And Miyoji, Clark, and Clover are still out there somewhere. What were you planning to do if they didn't get back in time? Nothing. Why would I have to do anything? Did you hear the voice? Anybody who doesn't get back in time to vote just gets their vote automatically set to ally. It's pretty straightforward to me. So what if they don't get back in time? They'll all get set to ally and all three of them will get 2 BP. Sounds like a sweet deal. Didn't they say you have to... You have to do it? Ten Miyoji's only got one BP. I figure he'll be pretty happy to get two more. And that'll put Clark and Clover up close to nine. So that's not too bad for them either. In other words, they ought to be thanking me. Um, didn't you guys find a note? What? What's this? We found it in our safe. Read it. Here are some more AB games yeah, this is, for you. This is what I was talking not about. Not voting is not an option. If both parties refuse to vote, then every bunny gets penalized. In other words, one person out of every color group of three has to vote. Yes. What the hell, man? This wasn't in our room. Back me up here, guys. He's right. There was no such note in our safe. Oh, well, damn. That's a bummer. I'd never have opened the gate if I'd known about this. Really? Yeah, I'm actually starting to think that you're just the giant asshole. Of course. I'm worried about the others. If time runs out, they'll... They'll be penalized. Yes. I know. Quark is part of that team. Maybe something happened with him. Oh, right. He seemed a little off before we head into the chromatic doors. This is bad. Off? Oh, what are you talking? He gave up on my life <laughs> before we went to the chromatic doors. That's a little more than off. Hey. Wait a minute. Where's Alice? She was here just a minute ago. It took, him, took me only a moment to spot her. She was several yards away, kneeling down to look at something on the floor. What was she looking at? I couldn't tell, because I only have 20-20 vision. I was about to head over and see what was going on when... It's all right when they do, but when I pant into the mic, oh, you gotta stop doing that, Kronos. Quark, has Quark been here? No. Did something happen to him? He disappeared. Disappeared? What do you mean? I mean, he's gone. Well, we okay. Yeah, I kind of figured that's what you meant. When was the last time you saw him? We were heading back here. 
Tenmyoji and I went into the lounge, but Quark didn't follow us. Oh, he is underage. We turned around and started calling for him, but... When he didn't respond, we ran back the way we'd come. And you couldn't find him? I don't know why. I know, I know it's right. But... The fact that she said came back the way we come. Like, I know it's probably right. But it actually is fucking with my brain. <laughs> right. We thought maybe he just hadn't seen us go into the lounge. I mean, when you guys went through your door, was he still like, uh, the end is nigh, we should just give up? So we checked the crew quarters and the infirmary. Sure, he just didn't give up and hid somewhere? <laughs> He wasn't there either. All right, we need to split up. How many, how much, how many minutes do we have if left? If we can't find him in any of the floor A rooms, we'll move to floor B. Okay. I need to go tell Alice. You guys go on ahead. Okay, <laughs> right, you do that. This is the cruise quarter, right? Yeah. I'm starting to learn the layout. Go me. It's only been about five hours, five and a half hours. Hey, Quark. Quark. Got any dragon diamonds? Why is there an outline of a person on that bed? Is he in the locker? The phone? Oh, hi fi. He's not here. I checked both rooms. He's not in the other two either. Shit. There's no one here. Ten and K are in the lounge, and Dio and Luna should be checking the infirmary. Right. So we should probably go and stab Dio okay. a few times. Let's leave that to them and head to floor B. Yeah, no, that's. Highly unnecessary. <laughs> Highly unnecessary. Like, first time, completely fine. Every time, highly unnecessary. Loud. Wow, that was loud. You went through the red door with Dio and Kay, right? Yeah, so? What was on the other side of that door? You want to see it? I guess, I guess. Yeah? Maybe Quark went there. Fine. Follow me. You guys have a talking robot on your side? Because we had one. Oh, we also, I think, have the key to Kay's armor. At least it looked like it could be a key to Kay's armor. We should probably... Wait, did we not take that? Because I remember yelling about taking the key. This is... The pantry. Ah. Oh. Pantry? That drawer over there is stuffed with processed food. Oh, delicious. It wasn't that bad, actually. You ate it? Yeah. There was some paella, nasi goreng, schnitzel, yuki schnitzel? Jung, borscht, and tom kha gai. I don't know. Well, I know borscht and schnitzel. Everything else... Nope. Oh, and I ate the chef's pasta, too. <gasps> How could you? That's a lot of food. Can't help it. I'm a growing girl. I doubt that. How old are you? 20, I think. I doubt that, too. Oh, 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 just just stop. I don't even know where to start here. One, by the time you hit 20, you're done growing. This is true for women, I believe. They stop growing around... Why do I feel like I've talked about this in every Let's Play series? Ever? <laughs> I feel like I've gone over this. I'm not going to go over it again. Men and women, they, they grow at different rates at different ages, and they stop at different ages. Two. You don't... You think? You should be old enough to know how old you are. Three. How on earth are you 20? You look like you're 13 in, if you're a day. I can't believe you're only two years younger than me. So I'm 22? <laughs> now that's funny. 
You must have done a lot of drugs to look like that at 22. You know, bye. I would say that's rude, but I've seen Sigma, and you're right. Oh, give me a break, you little punk. Don't call me little. You are tiny, I'm though. I'm an adult, you dried up asshole. I mean, you're not wrong. Technically, you do look like you're 13. Yeah, fine, whatever. So this place has enough food to keep people alive for a few years, huh? Looks like this stuff isn't going to expire anytime soon. Yeah, the use-by date is about 100 years from now. Mm, that seems extremely sci-fi. Unless these are like MRE stuff that lasts for a long time. But, generally speaking, do not taste good at all. How about water? There's a tank over there. Do we need to it find a water like chip for it? out of some kind of well. Is it safe? Well, since Dio isn't rolling around on the floor in agonizing pain, I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's okay. Yet. Yeah. He isn't rolling around on the floor in agonizing pain yet, because pretty sure we should stab him. He made him drink it to make sure it was, it was safe? I guess you could say that. High five! So you ate all the food without a second thought, but the water struck you as possibly dangerous? No. I was careful with the food, too. Dio had some of it first, and it seemed fine, so I... Oh, I almost forgot. What? Yeah, what? I ate something else! Oh, no! Twice cooked pork! Oh, for God's sake. Why the hell are you shouting about that? Wait a minute. Twice cooked pork? What is it? Well, that just reminded me of something. Reminded you of what? This might seem hard to believe at. What? This might seem hard to believe at? Bullshit. Oh, come on. At least let me tell you first. Alright. Are we having a flashback right now? I explained how we found a room called the Golem Bay on the other side of the green door, and how we went around in circles for one episode, completely lost then, pretty much missing everything, and how we met a robot there called named Golem, who told a very interesting story. I see. So the Golem guy was turned off just when he was about to tell you something. I'm pretty sure he was just destroyed. Yeah. So the last thing he said was, see you right in the middle of... Yeah. Right in the middle. Middle could be from Middle Kingdom, which is another name for China. Well, that was utterly pointless. Really? I don't think so. Please, explain. Well, maybe he was trying to say that this game is like the Chinese room. In other words... Sigma! Fi! Luna! There you are! I've been looking all over for you! What's going on? Something bad. Something really bad. Okay. On a scale from one to everyone's dead, how bad? Oh, come on, spill Alice. it. Alice is... Is Alice dead? Just come with me. She's in the crew quarters. Just... Game. Just... <laughs> you just, just have to... Fade to black, dog. Just fade to black. And then it's fine. Is there no way to skip this? Oh, shit. What? No, this isn't real. All I could hear were Zero's words echoing in my ears. Grab that bracelet, dog. Her heart stops, or your heart stops, your bracelet comes off. If you've never been in turbulence, it's hard to explain. We feel the sudden alien weightlessness of a long fall. He killed Alice, though? And for just a moment, you, you're painfully aware of the fact that you're a thousand feet above the Earth, in a flimsy machine made of fileable men. Fallible? 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 Fallible kept aloof by a scientific principle that nobody actually understands. If you've never seen a friend dead, it's hard to explain, but it's a little like that. I knelt down beside Alice's body and pressed uh, checking, a shaking hand to her throat. No pulse. 
Her skin had already turned pale. What? The thing in front of me looked like a human being, but it wasn't being a human any longer. Shh, why had this happened? I knelt there for several long moments, staring blankly ahead. I was just joking with the scale to one to everyone's dead, Luna. My throat burned and my chest was tight, but I forced myself to take three progressively calmer breaths, then stood. You should take that bracelet, though. I clenched my fist and took one last breath and turned. Who found her first? Me. I was looking for Quark on floor B and couldn't find him. So I came back here and, well, you know the rest. So, I'm assuming you did it. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Stab him! You better not be thinking I did it. Oh, stab him. Well, suspicion often falls on the first to discover a crime. Fuck that. She'd already been murdered when I got here. How do you know she was murdered? <laughs> what? What? Come on, it's yeah, obvious. What? She's got a knife sticking out of her chest. Take the knife, stab Dio! Does that look like an accident or a suicide to you? I mean, she could've fell on it, I guess. How do you know the weapon was a knife? What? Why? What? All you can see from here is the handle. For all you know, it could have been an ice pick or some kind of tool. Well, well yeah, I guess that's true, but, but... I mean, come on! Who wouldn't look at that and assume it's a knife? I mean... Okay, as much as I think we should stab Dio, I kind of get a side with him on that one, Fi. And it's not fair to suspect someone just because they happen to be the first one to find the body. If you want to be like that, then the last person to see Alice is the person you should be looking at. Who was the last person to see her? I need to go tell Alice! You guys go on ahead! Uh, okay, I mean, sure, in an alternate timeline, Clover might have gone a little loopy and ask, asked a lot of people a bunch of questions, but pretty sure you shouldn't smile like that, Clover. Kinda, kinda makes you look suspicious as all hell. Why? This wasn't supposed to happen. You promised me we'd catch them together. The Pokemon? Don't do this. <laughs> Clover. I can't trust them anymore. It could have been any one of them. They killed you, Alice. It wasn't me. I just wanted to find her a shirt. I can't forgive them for that. I'm going to get revenge. Oh shit. Hide the axes! I'll find out who killed you. And I'll I'll Hey, Clover! Shut up! Don't you talk to me! I'm sorry, Alice. Her voice shook as she spoke. Before anyone could say anything, she turned and ran out of the room. Wait! Clover! Come back! Ten took off in pursuit, and I made to follow when. It's pointless. Even if you caught up to her, she'd never tell you anything. Think it through. Yeah, there but dog. Two possibilities. She's gonna find an axe and come back? You're right. I mean, that's that's one of the possibilities. If Clover killed her, or she didn't. If the former is true, then I doubt she would confess. If the latter is true, then I imagine she'll be just as reticent. After all, Alice reticent. and Clover seem to know each other. Reticent. In fact, they seem quite close. It seems safe to assume that Clover is currently very suspicious of all of us. Oh yeah, seeing how she just said, I can't trust any one of them, and I'm gonna get revenge! I doubt she would open up to anyone right now. You seem pretty calm. Did you do it? Not again. Well, if you really want to suspect me, please, go ahead. Okay. Dog. Stab him. I'm beginning to feel rather accustomed to it. I would ask you to consider my motive for killing Alice. Specifically, the fact that I have none. Well, That's yes, a good motive. None of us do. None of us have ever met Alice before, right? Okay, here's the thing, so though. Why would we want to kill her? Didn't, didn't the bunny say we just need bracelets? You are correct. But only if the murder had a motive beyond, well, murder. I mean, I guess there could be a serial killer around here. <laughs> what do you mean? Do you remember when we found the old woman? It seemed clear that her killer was Zero Senior, and that they were one of us. There is every reason to think the same person murdered Alice. Perhaps this person plans to kill us one by one. Perhaps the entire nonary game is just window dressing. Perhaps the only reason we are here is so that Zero Senior can kill us at his leisure. Well, that's a horrible game. Own creation. Why would anyone do such a horrible thing? Well, there are horrible people out there. Presumably, because they enjoy killing. Zero Senior seems to be rather disturbed. 
Yeah, I guess disturbed is a proper way to describe that. Hold on a minute. That doesn't mean they're one of us. There could be a tenth person hiding up somewhere. No. Well, why not? There's no way Zero Jr. wouldn't notice that. And if he did notice, I really don't think he'd just let something like that slide. What are you talking about? Zero Senior and Zero Jr. are working together. But isn't Zero Jr. just an AI without a body? What could he do? Maybe. But Zero Senior has a body. Okay. You think they'd really just let a tenth unwanted participant just run around murdering people? You are assuming a lot with that. Well, what if the tenth person is Zerosin? Yeah, that's what I thought we were assuming here. Not possible. Maybe I was... Maybe I was jumping to conclusions. What do you mean, not possible? At least not so long as we assume Zero Jr.'s statement to be the truth. Do you remember? You shouldn't believe anything a virtual rabbit that's kidnapped you says. You made it quite clear that the real Zero was one of us. I thought about what Kay had said. If the killer was Zero Senior, then who could be the killer? Dio? Absolutely. Dio? Luna? Man, I hope not! Special K, perhaps? Maybe Clover? Well, <laughs> not 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 probably the old woman Morales, but I have a feeling she's gonna be she's gonna be some axing going on. There was always ten. Five, maybe. I mean that's Possible, maybe, given that? Well, probably not, actually. She seems to be doing, like, some of those morphogenetic field bullshit, right? Just like, maybe it's different this time, or maybe, like, she knew me, somehow. No, it couldn't be her. I didn't with Fi the whole time we were looking for Quark. There was no way she could have slipped away to stab Alice in the chest. Wait a minute. There was one person I'd forgotten. Quark. It seemed a bit of a stretch of to think a kid could kill someone of Alice's size. Well, not if he caught her off guard. That meant there were five real suspects. Dio, Lunar K, Clover, and Ten. No, Quark is a suspect. What do you mean? No, Quark is totally a suspect. If Alice came up to, like, Quark and be like, Hey, little buddy, are you alright? Let's go find your grandpa. And she, like, leant down to pick him up. Quark could just be like, Ha! Quark, you stab! And stabbed her in the chest. It would be very super effective. She's not wearing anything! Huh. Where had Quark gone? Ten minutes remain. Until Ambidex game polling closes. Oh uh, yeah. All players, please enter your votes. Should I betray Alice? If <laughs> is recorded before the deadline has passed. Oh wait. Non-voting parties will automatically ally. Okay, uh, Luna, are you we paired or are you a solo? Apparently, Zero doesn't feel like this is worth stopping the game for. A blunt, but effective way to make the point. Okay. What do you mean? We should get to the warehouse. It seems clear he feels no compunction about killing us, should we disobey the rules. Yeah. As such, I recommend we follow them. The others filed out of the room. I turned to face Alice. Grab... Grab the bracelet! Alice, I'll find out who did this to you. I promise. Grab the bracelet! I felt my stomach settle back into its normal configuration, and the fire in my chest melted to the icy hand from my spine. I stood straight, gave Alice one last nod, and walked after the others, leaving my regrets lying on the cold floor, next to the cold body. And I didn't take the bracelet, I guess, because I'm a goddamn idiot. Hey, look. Two of the AB gates are closed already. Probably Ten Miyoji and Clover. Wasn't he a pair? Doesn't Quark need to go with him? As long as one person in each pair is there, it should be okay. Sharing their destiny, huh? Pretty much. That's good news for you, Sigma. After all, you're a pair, but your partner is... Well, I'd rather not say it. So, okay, Alice was my partner. Yeah, I know. 
good luck for you, huh, Luna? What? I don't understand what you mean. Well, if Alice was still alive, you'd have a hard time choosing Betray. She only had one BP left. If you'd picked Betray, you could have killed her. Of course, that's not really a problem now. Stop that, Dio. I would have chosen ally regardless. Yeah! I mean, Sigma's going to be my opponent, and I... I trust him. I'm not gonna betray- you better not betray me, Luna. I swear, I already have trust issues in real life, but if you betray me right now... Really? Haha, <laughs> well, this is interesting. If one of you guys picks betray, we are gonna get a show. Dio! Ignore him. How do you and Phi plan to vote? You even gotta ask? Ally. Of course. Right, Fi? I don't know about that. It's a difficult question. What? Well, if we choose Ally and Kay chooses the opposite, then he'll have nine points. He can go through the number nine door whenever he wants. This is true. But it's not as simple as just choosing Betray, either. If Kay decides to ally for some reason, then you'd end up with nine points. So we should both choose Ally. Seems easy to me. You're planning on betraying me, aren't you, Dio? I mean, yeah, look at him. As soon as you go through that door, it will be only the two of you in that room. I've no doubt you could overpower Fi, if you had the desire to. Oh, give me a little credit. This is why we should stab him. No one has more gentle points than me. You think someone of my stature would resort to violence? Yes. Huh, the nerve. Um, what? This is just a thought, but why don't all of you promise to choose Betray? Then you wouldn't have to worry about anything. If you knew the other person was going to betray you, you'd have no choice but to do the same. That seems pretty... negative for you, Luna. I'm sorry. Nothing to apologize for. Well, no, if you all betray, you all get zero. We appreciate your suggestion, and we'll take it into consideration. She has a point. Like, it wasn't negative at all. It was actually smart. But unfortunately, I don't think it's a very good idea. See, my goal is to beat this game. But, Fi... Maybe that wasn't the best way to put it. Yeah. When I say I want to beat it, I mean defeat it. Completely. I want to get us all out of here. We haven't beat well, the Nonary game until we're all out of this kinda place. Kinda can't do that now. We got a dead old woman. We got a dead Alice. I guess we won't all be getting We got a missing Quark. Oh, you mean Alice. Yeah. At any rate, all of us choosing Betray every time is hardly ideal. Oh yeah, I'm gonna ally with Luna, I swear to God. We'd never escape. Then what are you going to do? Mm. Kay needs to choose ally. It's the only way. How will you make sure I do that? I have no guarantee that you'll choose ally as well. Would you do it if I could give you that guarantee? Well, yes, I suppose. You promise? Yes. Good. Let's do this. Dio! Huh? There's someone behind you. What? <laughs> oh, Fi! The moment Dio turned his head, Fi was off. With seemingly superhuman strength, she leapt through the air and cr across the room and through the... A oh, I thought she was going to knock his ass out. What the fuck? You bitch! God damn it, Alright, I like Fi. Open this fucking door! He pounded on the door, screaming, but it showed no signs of opening again. Fuck. He gave the door one last slam for good measure, then ran to the next open one. Invalid pair detected. Please retry with valid partner. Members of a pair cannot vote in separate rooms. What? Why the fuck not? Why? What do you mean, why not? This is against the rules. How am I supposed to vote? You're not voting. She is. <sighs> this is bullshit. I, I see. This is how Fi can guarantee your choice. Dio can't vote now, so the, cho the chance that Fi will choose Ally just went way up. After all, if you pick Ally and she betrays you, then... Dio will have nine points. Exactly. But don't you think Vi might be worried that Kay will break his promise? After all, if he can be pretty sure that Vi is going to choose Ally, then... You needn't worry. Her plan is very clever. I will definitely choose Ally. 
Two minutes remain. All right, Luna. Polling closes. We don't have much time left. Let's go. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, Sigma? Huh? You are going to choose ally, right? Yeah, of course. We both have five BP, right? Even if we did betray, if I did betray you, I'd only get three points. That's not enough to escape. So I have to wait until the next round, anyways. I mean, you could have also just said, "Why would I betray you? You, you have done nothing that would want make me want to betray you." Instead of giving that explanation, because now it's like you only care about the game. Oh, I see. Now she's upset, Sigma. God damn it. Huh? Oh, nothing. Never mind. If she betrays us now, Sigma, anyway, that's on you. You, you have to choose ally. Right, I will. Real smooth, Sigma, you goddamn idiot. Uh, the Ambitrix game, uh, to enter your vote, press the touch thing. Do I gotta actually... No, there we go. Thirty seconds remain until polling closes. Okay. Now, what am I going to do? Well, I guess there isn't really any question. After all, I promised Luna that I'd pick Ally. But, what if she was lying to me? I would have chosen Ally regardless. I mean, Sigma's going to be my opponent. Ten seconds remain until and Why are we all waiting to the like, just nine, just eight, vote? Seven. You know six, what to do, Sigma. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I guess we could just wait to the last second to vote again. But what will we choose? Find out next time! <laughs> I was going to say on Chronos Play Zero Escape Z. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Bye!